Hello everyone, this is Automotive Press, and we have perhaps the most shocking news coming out of the Toyota press conference from the Shanghai Auto Show that was held just a few hours ago. This global press conference by Toyota was primarily focused on talking about the new EV models from Toyota right up to 2025 and they introduced the new BZ4X concept SUV. So that was a big deal because this is an important model for Toyota. But what was really fascinating and something that most people missed throughout the media is the little message that was in the Toyota press release. And strangely enough, this important message was in the US press release about the BZ4X, but somehow it was missing from the global version of the press release. So what did the press release reveal that is so shocking and so significant for those of us who are really interested in the upcoming new generation Toyota Tundra? Well, would you believe that Toyota confirmed that it will bring not just a hybrid version of the pickup truck, but also a fully electric EV version of the pickup truck as well. This is the very first time we have heard official words from Toyota that its pickup trucks will become electrified in the form of both a hybrid and a fully electric BEV. The BEV stands for Battery Electric Vehicles. While the press release did not reveal exactly which trucks will become electrified first, I can tell you with almost 99% accuracy that it will be the Tundra that will become a fully electric vehicle. And I'm going to tell you exactly why that's the case and then walk you through the press release and give you all of the evidence to show this is actually happening for real. So let me walk you through exactly what Toyota revealed in the press release, which talks about the pickup truck being electrified. So the very first important announcement they made at the press conference and in the press release is that they are bringing a full lineup of 70 new electrified vehicles by the year 2025. Now keep in mind when Toyota uses the term electrified that includes of course hybrid models and fuel cell cars as well. Um, but they did say that of the 70, 15 will be fully electric BEV or battery electric vehicles including 7 new BEV under the brand name BZ series which stand for Beyond Zero. But then this is where it gets really interesting because in the press release Toyota talks about a pickup truck and I'll read out loud. So the press release says, Toyota plans to expand to around 70 electrified models globally by 2025. This future lineup will feature 15 dedicated BEVs, including seven carrying the BZ or BZ uh, Beyond Zero brand moniker. In addition, Toyota intends to bring electrification to its pickup truck lineup in the near future, and notice the word near future, including hybrid and BEV powertrains. This diverse portfolio of electrified products will help propel Toyota toward its goal of carbon neutrality by 2050. Once again, I want to emphasize that uh, this is the very first time Toyota has officially said that its pickup truck lineup will become fully electric in addition to having the hybrid system. Now if you have been following my channel, you already know that I have been talking about the 2022 Toyota Tundra and that it will no longer have the V8 engine, instead it will have twin turbo V6 engine from the Lexus LS lineup. It will be the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, good for more than 400 horsepower. But we also said the Tundra will get a hybrid system about one year later. That is my best guess because it is not showing up this fall in the form of a hybrid. But now that Toyota has officially said it will bring an electric pickup truck in the near future, we know it has to be the Tundra because that's arriving before the Tacoma's new generation. And also, there's no way the Toyota will electrify the Tacoma first in the form of fully electric version because everyone else out there, all of the competitors, are first electrifying their full-size pickup. 
and the fact that the full-size pickup is the most important market in the truck lineup and it is the most profitable. So if they're going to put the money into investment and research and development, they're going to do that with the Tundra first and perhaps they will still bring a battery electric version of the Tacoma at some point in the future. The new generation Toyota Tundra will sit on top of the new TNGA platform and the fully electric version will likely use the E-TNGA platform that's being used for other electric vehicles with modification obviously because the truck version is a body on frame design. Now why am I so convinced that it will be the Tundra that will become fully electric and not the Tacoma first? Well just look at, at its competition. Ford has already announced that its full-size F-150 will become fully electric in the very short term and Ford knows it must go after the full-size market first with the electric truck because its competition is also doing the same thing. In fact, the full-size electric vehicle truck market is going to be bombarded with new models from Rivian, which is coming out very shortly, as well as in the more expensive space, we have the Hummer EV coming in both the truck version and SUV, and even Tesla will obviously bring a Cybertruck, which has been showcasing it for some time. And this is just the beginning. It seems like every manufacturer around the world want to bring a fully electric truck or SUV. Even niche player like a Bollinger that you see here is bringing both electric SUV and electric truck. And the most recent news comes from General Motors, which confirmed the Chevrolet Silverado will also become fully electric in the near future. So there are so many full-size electric trucks coming out that Toyota must keep up with this trend. And to be able to compete with them, it has to electrify its new Toyota Tundra. To summarize the Tundra situation, first, we believe that June 17th is the date that Toyota will reveal the 2022 Toyota Tundra to its dealer network first. And the reason why we know this is the date is because of the uh, reveal that was in the Tundra forum where a Toyota dealer has received save the date notice from Toyota. And I confirmed and checked all of the information in here and it seems absolutely legit. So June 17th is when the dealer network and the dealer principles will likely get a sneak peek into the 2022 Tundra. Uh, which means that the public reveal will be very soon after that date. In fact, I'm quite sure that I will get to see it on the June 17th or shortly after that. And of course, you'll be the first uh, group to see the new Tundra in full glory. So if June 17th is a sneak peek, then that means by July, Toyota will have a full specification on the Tundra and the full public reveal should be in July, August timeframe. And following the sort of the protocol that Toyota uses, um, we will be able to actually physically see the real version probably by October, November timeframe. And at that point, it will still be the twin turbo V6 version that we will get to see, not the hybrid, but the hybrid is expected to show up sometime about a year later, so summer of 2022. So when would this fully electric EV version finally show up? Well, it's probably a couple of years away because the technology technology and, and all of the uh, architecture for the EV truck is not yet fully developed. So I expect the electric Tundra to be in a 2023 time frame, which is about two years after the full debut of the 2022 Toyota Tundra. By the way, there has been a lot of leaks about the new 2022 Land Cruiser, which we're not going to get it here in North America. But a lot of the information about the Land Cruiser is very relevant for the Tundra folks. And so I'll talk about that in the next video as well. And finally, another important announcement for those of you who really enjoyed my podcast I did with TFL's. Andre, we are doing another one on the Land Cruiser. So that should be coming up later this week. So please keep an eye on the TFL Talk channel uh, because that's where the podcast with Andre will show up perhaps a little bit later this week. 
So that's it for now, folks. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being patient with all the information that's coming through about the Tundra. Uh, as I get them, you will get them so that you will be receiving the latest 2022 Tundra information when it becomes available. See you soon and signing off for now.